What is up, YouTube? Today, we're going to give you what you've been asking for. Previously, we did testing between Milwaukee's M18 batteries, the 5.0 and the standard XC. We'll link that video here. The only complaint we were hearing in the comments section was, hey Vince, those tools were running free. They weren't under load. What could we expect from those batteries if they were actually under load? So what we did was we answered that call. We built this counterbalance contraption so that we could test these two freshly charged M18 batteries under load. Now, why do we have to build a contraption? Because we wanted to give you the best results possible without human interference. If we were to pick these tools up and start grinding away, or if we put these batteries on a drill and started drilling holes, people would say, oh, well, you got those results because you were pressing harder here, or you were, you were drilling on that speed there, or you were using a different material there. So what we did was we built a control contraption. It's counterbalanced. There's equal amounts of sand. They counterbalance the weight of the grinders equally and it will allow us to run these grinders on this piece of steel to give you a real world runtime expectation from your M18 batteries. Let's get started. These babies are fully charged. Are they brand new? No, they're not exactly brand new. They have a little bit of runtime on them. I hear the, co the comments coming already. Hey Vince, why aren't those batteries brand new? Because Milwaukee's not funding this operation. I am. So we're gonna be using these slightly worn batteries. They're not brand new out of brand new clamshells, but they are pretty new. They charge fully. So we're gonna attach them to our tool. Then we have to just tighten up our screws and then we're gonna let these babies fly. We're gonna put our standard XC here. We're gonna put our 5.0 here. Okay. Now that they're in place, we have to just tighten down these two clamps. So we have some Velcro strips. We're gonna tie down our triggers. Then we're gonna let these babies go to work and see how long they'll run. I'm gonna need some help for a simultaneous start. So Nick, can you give me a hand? Yes. Okay.
realize that the grinders would be cutting through this half inch thick steel angle that quickly, the guard on the grinder began to interfere with the grinder cutting into the steel. So we needed to take a little break. The tools were pulled up off of the steel simultaneously. Their triggers were released simultaneously. The steel was adjusted. The tools were restarted simultaneously and then put back on the steel absolutely simultaneously. We observed that the standard XC battery had one bar left while the 5.0 battery had two bars left. Just a simple observation we made while doing our maintenance. As you can see, the standard M18 XC battery ran a full 16 minutes, 10 seconds. The M18 XC 5.0 battery went a full 41 minutes. But you could see the tool didn't cut quite as deep as the grinder that was outfitted with the standard XC battery. Is there a flaw in the testing rig? Does it need more fine tuning? You be the judge. Let's do some math here. If you bought the standard XC battery in a two-pack that's available at Home Depot, you'd pay $139. Divide that by 16 runtime minutes for each of those batteries, and you would come up with $4.34 per runtime minute. If you bought this readily available M18 XC 5.0 battery at Home Depot, you'd pay $129. If you divide that by the 41 runtime minutes you'll get from that battery, you'd be paying $3.14 for each runtime minute. I hope you liked the video. I hope you liked the idea of the test rig. For all of you tinkerers out there are watching the video and you're saying, man, you could have did this better to, to improve that rig. You could have done that better to make the test results way more precise. Let us know in the comments section. Even better, this would be a great opportunity for a collaboration. Upload your video, how you would build your test rig. Or better yet, send over your idea for the collaboration video and we'll, we'll tell you how we can make that collaboration happen. If you like this video, make sure you smash that like button. Get subscribed. And if you think it's pretty nifty, share it out to somebody that would enjoy watching it. But as always, thanks a lot. And have a great day. Yo, I got caught. I borrowed one of my uh, my wife's Disney band-aids. 
Did you like that video? Wondering what to watch next? Well, why don't you click over here and watch this video? Or click over here and watch this video. If you really like our content, we hope you consider getting subscribed by clicking right here. Thanks a lot and have a great day, guys.